The Samsung T55 is an okay overall curved screen monitor. It's one of the few monitors that sold in multiple sizes, as it's available in 24, 27, and 32 inch models. It's a decent gaming monitor as it has native FreeSync variable refresh rate, VRR support, and an extremely low input. It has narrow view angles and bad ergonomics. Luckily, its VA panel can display deep blacks, which is great if you want a game or watch movies in the dark. Today's video is gonna be on this topic. Now let's dive into the deep of this video. Features, picture quality, both the 32 inch and 27 inch models deliver 1080x resolution, 1920x1080 or full HD, giving them just 69 or 82 pixels per inch, respectively. That's pretty low by today's standards, with many 27 inch and up models boasting 1440x, 2560x1440 or higher. But given the price point, this lower resolution is expected. Both screens are bright and the colors are good for mid-range screens. But you'll need to tinker with the display settings yourself for best results. If you want extreme color accuracy for something like visual design, you'll still need to look at the much higher end of the market. Productivity. Surprisingly, 1080x on a 32-inch screen is workable for tasks such as browsing and office suites. The pixels are definitely visible, with the brightness and contrast partially make up for the lower resolution. The 27 inch is better thanks to the higher pixel density, but you can still make pixels out with the naked eye. Video While both screens work well for general office applications, look elsewhere if you want to watch movies and TV. The slow, well-lit action of a YouTube video is fine for 1080x playback on either screen. However, the 32 inch model can't handle scenes with dark lighting at all. Almost any movement introduces glaring flashes of color distortion and pixelation, making anything but bright sunny camera shots unpleasant. Gaming, while we're told these monitors are targeted at productivity and office work, the T55's display menus include a gaming mode that Samsung says provides optimal color, contrast, and shades. In game mode, enabled colors are overdone, as are brightness and contrast. The end result is a blast of oversaturation with a distinct harshness around the edges of objects and text. Sound, the built-in 5-watt stereo speakers were better than expected. They're loud and clear enough to make out dialogue from the other side of the room, which is rarely the case for monitor speakers. But built-in speakers are never a perfect replacement for the real thing. We hope you found our in-depth review helpful and informative. Comment below if you have any questions about this review or explanation. Thanks for watching.